Previously, when Ernal and Almondite arrived to meet Princess Lulin simultaneously late at night for their private discussions with her, Lulin turned them away as she was combating against Demon Asmodeus, who was trying to take control over her body by making her to desire for a man so she could be intimate with him all night. However, she managed to mitigate the intensity of curse by drinking cold water. But before she could go to her bed to avoid the stigma's power completely, Commander Tristan suddenly knocked on her door, asking permission to come inside. Lulin, noting his presence, questioned how she could meet him in her uncontrollable state. But in an instant, a thought nagged in her mind, pondering that instead of seeking intimacy with an unknown man, why she couldn't request Tristan to fulfill the role of a one-night stand for her. So, let's dive into the chapters 44 and 45 of the Manhua, The Secret Bedroom of the Forsaken Princess. Immersing in a deep dilemma, Princess Lulin ponders if it is really okay to ask Tristan to physically intimate with her. However, with a determined face, she confirms to herself that this is her only choice now. Because if she cannot mitigate the power of curse then everybody will come to know her secret, leaving her to face the same tragedy, just like her real mother. And, despite Tristan is someone who will eventually leave her in future, just like Almondite did in the past. Therefore, she has no one except Tristan right now to be intimidate with physically, to control her desire for men. Moreover, being the guard for an abandoned princess like Lulin is not a role for Commander Tristan. But in an instant, Lulin asks Tristan to come in. Besides, as he enters, she orders him to tell the other knights who are outside the room to leave for today. Complying with her words, he states that he will do it right away. On the other side, by trembling heavily, she reflects that she really has to persuade Tristan to be intimate with her, as she is unable to control her desire. However, as Tristan re-enters the room, Lulin glances at him with a longing gaze, but she swiftly turns back, questioning if he has reconsidered his decision. Upon which, Tristan firmly affirms that he has not changed his mind at all, making her to sweat clearly. Maintaining her composure, she inquires if he means that even if the Queen Pamela hates him, he will still protect her adding if he will do whatever she wants. To this, Tristan reassures her, responding that he will do everything except leaving her side. Listening to this, Luolin admits that she is not a good person like he thinks. However, Tristan confirms whatever personality she got, he is totally fine with that. To this, she cuddles herself, muttering herself that if he will say that again, she'll embrace him uncontrollably. And, by swiftly turning to his side, she orders Tristan to remove his clothes quickly so that she can confirm his words. Dear viewers, apologies for the interruption. If you're genuinely enjoying the content on this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe icon with all notifications, since this little support of yours will help this creator continue delivering high-quality work to brighten your day. And take a moment at the end of the video to leave a comment, sharing your thoughts on the content. Your feedback means a lot. Now, let's not take up too much of your time and jump back into the story. Hearing this unexpected order, Tristan flinches with eyes wide open. Nevertheless, observing his reaction, she questions if he does not feels weird when she makes every guard to leave, asking if he is ready to spend the night with her on the bed or not. Moreover, witnessing the shocked expression on his face, Lulin mutters to herself that she knows it is disrespectful to make a prestigious knight like Tristan her one-night stand man, but she truly does not have another choice. Moreover, seeing his piercing gaze, she inquires herself if he will leave after hearing this. However, Tristan instantly drops his sword on the floor and starts to remove his commander's uniform. Watching his abrupt actions, Lulin gets perplexed, reflecting if he is actually taking them off for real or he is just teasing her. Yet, on the other side, Tristan is already in the process of unbuckling his belt so that he can undress his inner shirt. Lulin, observing this unhoped situation, winces clearly, reflecting that he is actually taking his clothes off. Plus, glancing at his macho body, she adds that despite she planned to do it with him, but now she starts to embarrassed at seeing his whole body. Nevertheless, as she yells, ordering him to stop his actions immediately. But out of nowhere, her stigma sends a swift shock through her body, making her lose control over herself. Besides, Demon Asmodeus suddenly appears behind her, stating that Lulin is truly lucky that she is going to be intimate with this wild man. Further, by pointing his devilish finger towards Tristan, Asmodeus commands Lulin to hug him right away. At complying, she gradually takes her step towards him. And, as she approaches near Tristan, she extends her fingers on his naked chest. But before she delivers herself in his masculine arms, Tristan drops down his only trunk that was guarding his lower body. Moreover, as Lulin sees the long injection attached to Tristan's lower body, her senses come back to normal, who shouts in a shocked expression about what the hell is that hanging down there. Besides, she confirms to herself that although she knows that everything in Tristan's is big, but she never thought it would be too big. Yet, in an instant, Tristan inquires if something is wrong with him as she is making that face, upon which Lulin gets blushed heavily, and as she tries to say something, 
He interferes, asking her to say it already. To this, Lulin in a low voice, questions if he unwillingly doing all this just because she is asking him to do it. Listening to her false assumptions, Tristan states that she is totally wrong here, because he also feels interested himself for doing it. Therefore he undressed his clothes in front of her. Plus, by standing nakedly, he boldly questions if now she does not want to do this. Hearing these words, Lulin is taken aback, reflecting why he is not embarrassed in this state, adding that she thought he would disgust her and would leave as soon as he hears her order. Tristan, witnessing her lost in thoughts, asks if she is thinking that he cannot satisfy her. Noting the word satisfy, makes Lulin to tremble heavily, who confirms that in the place of getting satisfied, that thing would eventually lead her to death. But from nowhere, Asmodeus whispers to her, inquiring why she is hesitating right now. Moreover, by again controlling her body but this time with more sinister powers, Asmodeus states to her that Tristan is waiting for her, and, adds if she cannot be honest to herself, he will help her. Meanwhile, Tristan noting Lulin's weird reaction, probes if she does not like him, at which, she mutters that she likes him very much. Lulin then suddenly throws her body upon Tristan, conveying that it is her pleasure to be intimate with a person like him. Plus, by sliding her fingers across his masculine bicep, she states that last time, when they were riding the horses, she thought that he has wonderful muscles, and by glancing towards him, she adds if he will regret it. To this, he embarrassingly responds that he will not. Listening to this, she smirks clearly. However, after some time passes, an unbuttoning noise is heard, because Princess Lulin is in the process of removing her upper dress, and, as she completely undressed her upper clothes, she steps to unbutton her undergarments. On the other side, Tristan gets blushed by observing Lulin's delicate whitish skinned body for the first time. Besides, not able to control his composure, Tristan tightly holds Lulin's body close to him from behind, surrounding his massive arms around her. Witnessing his abrupt action, she turns her face towards his right away. Moreover, with heavy breath, Lulin asks if he is ready for their unforgettable night, upon which Tristan cuddles her lovingly. And Lulin, by grabbing his neck, places an intimate kiss on his lips, requesting him to continue their business on her comfy bed. As we wrap up today's segment, thank you for being with us until the very end. I'll be sharing fresh videos of this manga and exciting new series every weekend. Your support is invaluable, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Your encouragement keeps the channel thriving, and I appreciate it immensely. Until next time, take care and goodbye.